All right, what's going on, everybody? Josh Pocock here, founder and CEO of Executive Stride. In today's video, we're going to be looking at go high level automations and why you need to use if else conditions, how to use them, what's the proper ways, how do you start your automations, how what's the like the right triggers to do everything, how do you structure your automations when you're creating all these different automations, your show up sequence, your follow up sequence, your nurturing sequence, how do you trigger them? How do you move them from pipeline stages? You know, I'll give you a little bit of insight. There's different ways to do it, but we're going to go over a couple in this video. So without ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so we are right in the automations and workflow section. So I'm not going to show you how to get into all this. You should already know if you don't go check out some of my other videos. I've done videos on showing you how to use everything and go high level. So go check out some of those. Um, so here up here, you'll see the triggers, right? The trigger section. So you can have multiple triggers in a workflow if you didn't already know. And uh, certain workflows will have one trigger. So our workflows will have, you know, two triggers or more. Some will have five triggers. Some will have no triggers, right? And if you don't have any triggers in a workflow, you may be wondering, how does it run? Well, it could run with something sort of like this. Now, this is uh, something like a master workflow. Now, this one that you're seeing right here specifically, we don't actively use right now. We use a much more updated. Um, this is kind of like a watered down version of something similar to what we use. Um, I'm just showing you this for the sake of this video, just to give you as an example. But um, yeah, this is like a master workflow. So say if you were looking at an opportunity pipeline, this is these triggers right here are all for the same opportunity pipeline. Okay. And as the opportunity, right, if you're not familiar with our opportunity pipelines, go check out some of my other videos, but as the opportunity, AKA the lead, potential client, the deal moves down the pipeline stage, right? It's going to be added into different workflows, right? And those workflows, a lot of them don't have triggers because all the triggers are right here. And this if else condition is just sending them to different workflows, as you can see right here, right? So I hope that makes sense. Um, now up here in the trigger workflow section, I'll kind of show you what this looks like. So we have a workflow trigger of pipeline stage changed pipeline stage. So that you can change these right here, the names, and this is in pipeline. You select a pipeline, then you add a filter. So pipeline stage is whatever your desired stage is, right? You'll see, this is kind of like a typical, pr like prospecting, like advertising to, uh, to sale, um, type opportunity um, stages that are shown here. So you'll see shown. So someone shows up for a call. So this is a sale, uh, lead form submitted, no show, no sale, changed appointment. Oh, so this is a appointment book. So pipeline stage changed from something to appointment booked. And yeah, so that's a, that's an example, right? Yours may look different. I'm just showing you an example here, but then we have a if else, right? So just so you know, all you do is you go add, you can just search for stuff that I'm mentioning here. So if else now these right here, these are what's known as branches. So as we see new Facebook leader appointment, no show, these are different branches. The way I set that up is simply put, I just come down here and I click on branch, add branch, right? So you can do three different things within a, an if else you can add a branch, add a condition or add a segment. If you add a condition, it's going to basically add a condition for that branch right now. Like this branch right here for sale is triggering when, or not, sorry, isn't triggering. It's basically a branch of only the workflow trigger of pipeline stage sale, right? So that is that pipeline stage and this one is new lead or appointment so this is either facebook lead stage uh submitted lead form submitted or appointment booked stage and it's going to trigger for both of those and then that right here is a condition and you can change a condition to either have an and or an or so right here this is going to show um or you know move a basically uh, work for this branch if it is a lead form or a booked appointment. 
Now, if I did and, it means that they would have to submit a lead form and a booked appointment. All right. So, um, it, you know, you depending on what you're doing, you just be cognizant of that. You can utilize that. And then add segment. Um, so this would be an and. So it would be a segment of this right here and something else. So um, there's certain situations where you may want to use that. I'm not going to get into that right now. But yeah, so that's kind of kind of how the conditions work, right? So you have that segmenting each of your triggers into a branch, right? And then simply put, these branches are mainly just sending them to different workflows, right? So um, that is that's what they're doing. So no show goes to missed appointment follow up, no sale um, goes to nurture sequence. I did a video on nurturing sequences yesterday. Go check that out. You need to set up a nurture sequence for your company an overarching company nurturing sequence. Basically that's, uh, you know, to sum it up, it's kind of a joke. Don't take it personally. Don't get offended, but it's like either they buy or they die. All right. That's, that's a quote from the Wolf of Wall Street, right? So it's not actually like that. It's just that they're going to get continuous emails and follow-ups from you until they either uh, take the desired action or they opt out. They can always opt out, right? You give them that option in the bottom of the email, right? Or the text, right? So yeah, you can basically leverage that to nurture your lead databases. You can do react list, uh, list uh, reactivation campaigns, these, this, that, etc. If you need any help with that, um, you can, uh, you know, book a call with us and we can chat. But uh, sale, so add to, yeah, so add to new client workflow, so onboarding workflows. So you should have these type of workflows in your business, like onboarding new client workflows, right? When a client onboards with your company, um, what happens? Do you have to like do five different manual actions in order to onboard the client? All right, that doesn't make a lot of sense. I mean, initially, when if you're say if you're just starting out, cool, that's fine. Right, there's certain things like all these bells and whistles, automations, etc. I won't even recommend worrying about this stuff until you actually have like a business going. You have clients. If you don't have clients, you don't have a business because what is a business? Money into your bank account. Money in. All right. If you're just spending money out and spending your time, it's not a business yet. It's literally just you're just I don't even know. You're just wasting time. You're you're spending time. Right. You're spending stuff. You're just spending stuff. You need to get money. Right. So you're making clients, you're closing clients, you have a business, et cetera. You're not just, just starting out. Then you're going to want to start setting these things up. All right. So you need onboarding sequences, automate onboarding. All right. Really, uh, like literally you can automate, um, maybe about 90 to 95% of onboarding, maybe even a hundred, um, depending on what your service is. If you're a SaaS, it's very simple. Um, even a service-based marketing agency, coach, consultant, you know, you're on board, you, you can trigger things, invite them to your membership area. Um, you can send, you can send things, you can add a, uh, web hook. You can go send that to Zapier or Integer map to set off different, um, zaps or, you know, Integer map scenarios. All right. Um, and let's see what else. Okay, so there's that. Uh, assigning users, by the way, this is something to note. Okay, this is something you would want to do. And then when you're creating emails and such, for certain things, you're gonna wanna assign a user. And then you can easily just go from name, user, full name, right? And then from email, user, email. So you don't have to put an email here or a name, you can just do user. And then if anywhere in workflows, et cetera, you need to, you want to change who it's sending from, you can just assign it to a different user or, you know, certain things, um, you know, it's going to assign to a specific user and then they're going to be like the contact lead, lead owner of that, of that contact. Say if it's like a sales rep, et cetera, and then automated emails, text and such will go from personalized from their, their, uh, information. Right. Um, so there's that. Um, and then what else? So assign to user, create opportunity, wait one second. Um, if booked appointment, add to appointment reminder. So this is show up sequence right here. And then one thing to note 
is removed from missed appointment workflow, removed from uh, auto booking workflow, right? So it's removing them from those two workflows if they book an appointment. If not, sending an internal notification and add to auto booking workflow. So if you're using, I hope this doesn't, this is something that you're just, it's not that it's, it's when you're using like uh, a master flow and then you have different automations and you're setting up your, uh, your workflow structure and uh, everything. Uh, keep in mind to use these right here, removing from certain workflows, right? So if I'm, if someone books, takes a specific action, you're going to want to remove them from either specific workflows or maybe even all workflows sometimes. So this is a specific case where you would want to do that. There's other cases as well. Just keep that in mind when you're building out your workflows. All right. So guys, in this video, I wanted to give you guys kind of an engineer's mind, a systems thinking, right? That's really what it is when it comes down to systems thinking. Um, that Yeah, that's that's really what the summit up is summit up in this video is showing you this the system, but also to kind of telling you how it's built why it's built it's not the per i'm not going to say this right here is the perfect system we have way better systems we have etc etc but um this is just one thing i would thought that would give some value to you guys to either if you don't have something like this or you don't know how to do certain things it's going to one a show you but also give you the thinking on how this was built why certain things were done and it's going to allow you to do custom builds yourself as well as really get more comfortable in a tool like Ohio level, as well as just in general with marketing and why and sales process optimization. All right. Now, if you want help specifically with doing stuff like this and, and on a much grander scale as well as filling your calendar with leads, you know, just, I'm not going to get into it, but just the whole shabam to really accelerate your stride of your business. You can book a call with us, executive stride.com forward slash quiz not going to mention too much about it, but if it is something that you're interested in, just go book a call. Other than that, though, we do have a free stride community. All right. So um, go check that out. That is, let me just show you guys. If you're not already in here, don't know what you're doing if you're a fan of this channel, but uh, go stridecommunity.com. Super, super valuable stuff we're going to be posting in here, and you're going to be able to network with a bunch of like minded individuals, course creators, cor uh, coaches, consultants agency owners, software owners, etc. So building a highly engaged group, go check it out. New exclusive content will be in there as well as live streams, etc. Interviews coming soon. And then uh, the Accelerate Your Stride Challenge. Make sure to join this. It's a free six-day challenge to learn how to accelerate your stride, add an additional 100K MRR to your business. All right, and this will be dropping soon. It's a free six-day challenge. Join the waitlist right now while you can join it at no cost. All right, go here, join it. Once it actually drops, you'll get instant email and text notifications. But other than that, guys, I don't want to make this video too, too long. I will see you in tomorrow's video, guys. If you like this type of stuff, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on post notifications. Like I said, guys, uh, the Go High Level links will be linked down below. If you're not, if you don't have Go High Level, you can uh, get started on a 14-day free trial. If you do have Go High Level, you can potentially upgrade to... Um, agency plans, uh, SaaS plan, SaaS mode. And uh, if you do one of the two, if you do some sort of action through one of those links down below, uh, it, just so you know, it's obviously affiliate link. So I do get a little kickback, but it's the same price for you. It literally doesn't change anything, but just for showing the support by using the link. If you do uh, reach out to me on Instagram or Facebook or just somewhere you can uh my email as well josh at executive stripe if you uh do if i don't notice right away usually we have uh we'll notice but if for whatever reason if you do use one of the links let me know we'll get you custom uh we'll, we'll i'll get on a either me or my team will get on a like a short call with you get you walk you through getting you set up helping get your systems over if you already have all these other platforms we'll help you get set up on there as well as um if you're completely new to business and you're just using it just give you some pointers, whatever, even maybe give you some free snapshots, some free funnels, etc., and a free course too. So uh, let me know if that's the case. If you do sign up through there, like I said, usually just let comment down below or message in the stride community. But if you 
I'm super busy lately. So if you ever, if you, you know, shoot me an email, shoot me a, uh, uh, Instagram message, if anything, links for that will be down below and then, uh, we'll get back to you and we can set that up. All right, guys. So other than that, see you in tomorrow's video. Keep hustling, keep grinding. And of course, guys, accelerate your stride. Take care.